Hey, do you want to go ahead and make awesome bases like Rez and Peekaboo? Stay tuned for the video. We're going to show you exactly how. P.S. Midtemps Volume 2 is out right now. Go grab your copy in the description. Tons of presets, tons of samples. Go download now. Fuck you, bro. Well, fuck you, bro. I quit. What's up, everybody? My name's Danny Ferrari. My name's Parker Ament. We are Excellent Sound, and we are back with an awesome video for you guys today. We're going to be remaking Rez's Cortex with... Oh, no. Rez's Vortex with Peekaboo. It's Hello. Cortez. It's Cortez. Rez's Cortez. Peekaboo. That's a very cute name. It's a sick song, dude. Yeah, it's really dope. Obviously, it's it's mid-temps. We are just at the, almost at the end of mid-temps season. If you didn't already know, we have a brand new pack that is available now. Mid-temps volume two. The full release is out now. Parker, tell him. It's the best mid-tempo pack. It's the best mid-tempo. That's, that's really all I got to say. We said it right it's here. It's the best mid-tempo pack in the industry. There's no other pack that can make mid-tempo better than this pack. And if you disagree, Honestly. let us know in the comments. And if you do, no. and you disagree, we'll delete your comment. No. I don't want to, I don't want to hear any of about disagreeing. I don't need dude. to know. I know no. for a fact we're the best. It's the it's tempo I'm agreeing pack. that it's the best mid tempo pack. I think so. Of all season. Yes. If you enjoy the video, if you can comment down below if you think mid temps volume two is the best mid tempo pack in the world mid tempo pack like the video and subscribe that'd be really really great so what we're doing is this may 7th this may 7th not next may this may 7th next may, month next month may 7th excellent sound is doing their los angeles debut dj set performance yes, we're yeah. djs yep no it's not at a birthday party or a bar mitzvah no it's not a wedding it could be though it could be we could play we your bar, bar mitzvahs. mitzvahs i would love to go they're to one of those. so sick dude yeah. how about like some house jewish music oh dude that'd be so Sick. Oh my god. Well, no. just fucking jumping up and down, dude. That would be so hard, bro. Oh, but that would be a good what if. <laughs> what, how, what's the name of that song? Jewish House. The Hala, Hala? Hava Nagila. What if Hava Nagila was EDM? <laughs> Dude, Bro, we have to do that. That would be so hard. Oh, and then we I'm could, so down. And then we could do a Christian worship fucking song. Yeah, we got to pull the guitar out for that one, yeah, dude. We could I do would a, love... If a Christian worship was EDM, dude. Oh, my God, and, dude. And we do a Jewish Hands one. Up, just like this. Yeah. yeah. And, and then we'll get a chair, dude. Yeah. Just don't be copying our style. So, yeah, we're going to be playing our first show. If you guys want to go ahead and get tickets, they're available now. Link is in the description. We're going to be hanging out, too. So if you guys want to come and hang yep. out with us, we'll be out there talking to you guys and, and hanging out, maybe giving away a few packs. We'd love to meet you. We're real excited about it. It's going to be really, really fun. It's at Catch One. Again, all the info's in the link in the description down below, playing with our boy Joker mm -hmm. and Midnight Society is putting on. So, yeah, definitely go check it out, guys. It's going to be sick. It's, it's going to be, be super lit. It's going to be Super lit. A lot of lit. Soup's lit. I've been saying lit a lot lately. I don't know if I'm you comfortable with it. You were fucking lit this morning, dude. Yeah, bro. I'm in a good mood today, bro. Yeah, you're in a great mood. I'm feeling good. I know you are, dude. I'm feeling great, too. You look good. My, you look great, dude. Look at those thighs, bro. Should we? Maybe after the video. All right, baby. Let's jump in the video. <laughs> Here is what we've got so far. <laughs> This song is so sick. Dude, you're such a vagenius. <laughs> Dude, you're a vagenius. <laughs> you're the biggest vagenius I've ever known. You're the cleanest vagenius <laughs> I've ever known. <laughs> Okay, so if you guys didn't already catch our video on roll bases, this is kind of like a similar technique that you're kind of doing. You're getting this like really heavy pluck roll. This is the base we're making today. 
really fucking dirty, gritty. There's a lot of artifacts in there, but it kind of makes the sound itself. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of over-processing for sure, and uh, a little bit of resampling, right? To, to continue on processing. We'll explain that later. If you wanna go ahead and get this preset, it is in the description down below for free. You can go ahead and get the preset in the rack. But yeah, let's jump right into it. So I have an initiated serum preset, sounds like this. Sick. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and start with that. So the first thing I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this up. Mom doesn't love me is the name of the preset. Thank you, Kian, for that. Um, <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna want to do is you're gonna use the wavetable shape hard sync two from our Skrilla pack. If you don't have Skrilla, I'm sorry you missed out on it, but we'll give you the wavetable for free. But if you want something similar, or you want to mess around with it with a different wavetable, you can use some of the massive wavetables. The hard sync one is what we're gonna be using. This one is like a version of the hard sync two. So I just I definitely recommend just grabbing it from the download if you don't have Skrilla. Hard Sync O2, again, we'll include it in the preset down below. We're gonna go ahead and draw that up. We're gonna turn the level all the way down like so, and we're gonna set the wavetable position to 53, okay? Now, before we get into all the cool shit that we're gonna be doing with this thing, I wanna go ahead and make this LFO right here. I already have it pre-made. I saved it, right? I saved it as the vortex. And this is sort of the rhythm that's gonna happen. Bam, 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 right? Sometimes what's cool about using LFOs for your rhythm, it's easier to get like swing sometimes by using an LFO on like a volume modulation, right? Because you can draw it in so much faster than like trying to move a little piece of audio or a little piece of MIDI on a grid. I do better swing stuff. With it also creates like interest too, instead of just doing like a normal triplet, you know? Right. There's something different about each one and it's yeah. not exactly on the grid yeah. and it's like a little fucked up. And yeah. like sometimes it sounds better when it's fucked up. Yeah, so like that's a good little nug right there. Cue the fucking music. You guys that shit up. wanna try to get an interesting way to get different swing for your in instruments, try drawing in your LFOs and doing more of a sequence. That way you're not so stuck to the grid. You can just hold down a note, right? And I could just play this specific sound. And if you were to put something like that on like a trigger sort of setting, right? You can also get different parts looping or turn it off even sometimes. You can get interesting sort of patterns and almost like happy little accidents. And like restarting it Fuck. But essentially, you can resample it and re trigger it, and it'll create more interesting sequences. So, just another fun way to try to come up with different ideas, right? So, let's go ahead and get back into the sound. Okay, so where were we? Hard sync is at 53, level all the way down. Make your first LFO like so. Set it to envelope mode and set it to bar. You can leave it on trigger if you want. So, this envelope is going to go onto the level knob of oscillator A, and you're going to go ahead and set that to 79. And then we're also going to go ahead and make another LFO that's going to look like this LFO. Two, it's going to set to envelope, set to bar, and that's going to go onto the wavetable position. So I'm going to go ahead and assign that right now, and that's going to be set to minus 26. Okay, so let's hear what this is sounding like. Pretty quiet. And honestly, too, if you don't want to use hard sync, another thing you can do is just take a saw wave and sync it, right? Just put it into sync mode and then resample it. And that's essentially the same thing. That's really what hard sync is, is it's just a synced saw wave. So you can do that as well. All right, so now that that's looking good, let's go ahead and make one more LFO while we're doing it. Okay, this is for the pitch bend. You just want to go ahead and kind of match this right here. Set it to envelope, set it to bar, and then we're going to put that on some stuff later. Tell them it follows the sequence. Yeah, it follows you know? the sequence. Yeah, so dun, dun, bend, dun, dun and it pitches up and dun, 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 dun. Nice. That's what's kind of cool about it. Actually, you know, we can probably do that right now. Let's go ahead and unbypass that. So I have that set. The way you're gonna do that is you're just gonna go ahead and create a LFO for right here. We did LFO three in the matrix and we set it to the global master tune. And right now it's bypassed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it like that. So it's not bypassed. Make sure it's going both ways and set it to nine, right? <laughs> Right, that's that little pitch up thing that's sort of happening right there, which is nice. Okay, now let's go ahead and go into the warp mode. For the warp mode, we're gonna go ahead and use FM from B, okay? And for FM from B, we're gonna use basic shape. We're just gonna use a sine wave. We're gonna turn the level all the way down like so. And the FM should be about 32%. That's what we're looking for. All right, next, after that, let's go ahead and get our first filter. We're gonna use an MG low six, and we're gonna put LFO one onto the cutoff. And that's gonna be set to 79. So it's gonna create some different plucks, like Parker was saying, some different variation. Like some of them are more plucky, right? That's what he's talking about, which is kind of cool because the cutoff is not going all the way, right? So go ahead and set that. Turn the fatness all the way to 55 and the res to 15%. So let's go ahead and after this, let's go ahead and jump into the actual effects. 
So it's pretty quiet right now, but as you can see from earlier, it's going to get pretty loud. Next, we're going to go ahead and use a distortion. We're going to use the ASIM. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on, and I'm also going to put LFO 1 onto the drive, and that's going to be set to 43. So go ahead and drag that over the drive and pull it to 43. There's that grit that's kind of coming in. A little bit of chorus for width, rate at 0.14, delay at noon, delay two at like fucking three, depth at 2.1, that's not three, but you figure it out. Uh, chorus feedback at 33%, low pass filter, and the mix at 42%. Little width, little width, baby. Not a lot of girth, just a little girth. Girth gang. Girth gang. Uh, and then for this one, you're gonna use a hyper dimension. It looks like we have most of this stuff kind of turned down, except for the rate and the actual detune on the hyper side. This is set to five, and the mix is 48%. We're not really using the dimension. Kind of creates this weird phasiness with the unison. Kind of Makes it fatter too. Yeah, it does. It's interesting playing with the hyper sometimes. It's it's difficult. Be careful playing with your little hyper, guys. Be careful with it because you can have some phase issues. Yeah. You want to play with your little hyper? Go ahead, but be gentle with it. Next, let's go ahead and add a low 24. We're going to add that filter. We're going to go ahead and put our cutoff to 91 hertz, and we're going to go ahead and set LFO 1 on there and set it to 73. Res all the way down, drive at 18, fat at 22, and mix all the way up at 100. You can hear that kind of wop wop because of these sort of LFOs. And that's the other thing that's cool about these is, like you had mentioned before, is the inconsistencies of what you can do of different yeah. sequences to kind of create some more interesting sort of patterns or tonalities. That's looking good. Let's go ahead and get into the EQ. We're essentially adding like something similar to like a band pass. So you're going to do a low cut on this side. Frequency is going to be set to 61, Q at 60, gain at 5.1. And then on the right side, we're going to have 111, Q at 56, and gain at halfway. And we're going to go ahead and put LFO 1 onto the left side frequency and that's going to be set to eight percent so it's just kind of moving that notch a little bit okay and then on the right side we're going to go ahead and set our lfo one to 80 sevs probably turn it on first just adding another more filtering essentially it's just accentuating it even more and then on the q we're going to go ahead and set it backwards and set it minus 40. so that lfo is kind of curving itself as it's Get that movement going, dude. It's, it's doing this. Like the waves, dude, on the beach. It's like fucking, dude. Like fucking Malibu. It's got really good gyration. You're Malibu. giving- Malibu. California. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the last part of this sort of preset. We're going to go ahead and talk about how you guys can get the rest of the sounds from this, including the project file right now. If you guys want to get this project file and many, many more like this, you can get all the drums, you can get all the presets, everything that we made. Make sure you guys go check out our Patreon. The link is in the description down below. If you guys go and you click that link, you can see we have tons of different tiers from feedback to our legacy YouTube tier to our VIP tier. If you guys check that out, pick which one works for you. And if you want to get this project file, you want to join the legacy tier you can open that up and you'll see we have tons of project files for you guys all to download with all the sounds and presets in there and of course our vip tier which also includes the project files and exclusive presets and samples for you guys so check that out and support us on patreon if you can we really really appreciate all our supporters thank you all right now that we're back from that let's go ahead and add a multi-band compress okay you're going to want to go ahead and set the thresh at noon the ratio at 4.1 attack at 90 release at 90 and gain at 0.08 you might have to match these because I don't remember if we moved them or not, but just try to, you know, you can just kind of move them and shit like that. I don't know if you guys know that, but you can actually move these. This is a quick little nug for you, right? So you can actually move these around to kind of adjust your ott -age, sort of. And you can also add more or less, just like you do in OTT. But a lot of people don't know that, which is kind of interesting, right? Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, you can also automate this. You can modulate this. You can put an LFO in here if you wanted to. Look at that. No one even fucking knew that. Um. Look at that. It sounds kind of cool. I wish I would have done that in the original sound, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove that. <laughs> okay, so that's good. We're going to go ahead and put the gain on, uh, like I said, to 0.09. We're going to add LFO 1 to that and turn the mix up to the, all the way. Now, we're pretty close. Let's hear it in the mix. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. And you could take it from here and make it however you want. For us to try to remake things as accurately as we do, because that's what we do here, we remake things from scratch as best as we fucking possibly can. Exactly to the T. For you guys, that's what we do. That's why we're, mm -hmm. we try to set ourselves apart, right? So with this, we had to get into some really heavy processing because there's a lot of grit. There's a lot of growl in it. And usually when I hear grit or growl, what I start thinking about is just multiple OTTs. <laughs> like, yeah. 
right? So the first thing we did actually is we added an amp, this bass amp right here. I think it might've been started from a bass roundup preset. You guys can use any sort of bass amp preset, but basically we're just giving it some extra drive. You can color it however you want. If you don't have Ableton, trust me, you can get something similar with just a similar amp. Try to match our settings with the gain, bass and mids and shit. See, the highs are a lot less from this bass amp. Yeah. That's trying to match the grit, right? But we're gonna add these two OTTs. We're gonna go ahead and add this OT with the output to 10, pulling these highs and mids up and 100%. It's gonna be clippy right now, so just like kind of chill with it. I'll try to Not turn to it down actually. It. Cause it's so pushing so yeah. hard, right? To try to match the original tone. And then the second OTT, I think is, is it the same? No, it's not the same thing. So a little bit more highs, a lot more mids it looks like. No, yes. Yes, what, no, a lot less mids. <laughs> you figured out, make it look like that. 50% and set the output to 10 as well. Then we're gonna go ahead and add some erosion, some white noise around here, 11.1, .1, you guys can see that. There's that grit coming in. I have this turned down to minus 20. But part of the sound that sounds like kind of good in a way is I think the clippiness of it. Yeah, um, it's the Ableton clip, I think. Yeah, and then we have a low cut with uh, the mids sort of boosted and a little bit of duct frequency right here. Okay, cool, that's sounding good. And then we're gonna go ahead and add a, a little bit of redux for some texture at down sample. Set it to saw, 3.11. And then we have a utility set for the mute because it was very, very loud and you, you'll hear it. You can hear it has a lot of like extra artifacts. So in this case, right, let's say you have a sound like this that sounds really good. You know, you're happy with it, but it's so dirty. You want that characteristic, but you don't want the extra carryover and you don't want to gate or automate mutes. Just go ahead and do this. And this is a quick little trick if you haven't seen our little nug and nodge, but freeze this track, right? And then you can go ahead and drag it down into an empty audio track. So we froze this track and then we dragged it down into here. And then what happened was, is we were left with this, right? Okay, there's no processing on the group or anything extra. Everything you'll need to be able to make this, including this new rack that we're gonna do is gonna be in the description down below. So you guys can do the same thing as well. So the first thing we did is we added an EQ and this is EQ matching. We're pulling out a lot of the lower mids right here to kind of help with the muddiness of it. And I think just to kind of fit well in the mix. Like it was too loud. Okay, so that's the first thing we did. We added another Redux with a little bit more down sample. We wanted a little bit more grit. I suppose you could do this at the end of this, but if there's something about having the clean audio, because if I pull this audio out, like I did with the freeze and flatten, you can see there's a bunch of artifacts from the audio. So once you have the Redux, you're gonna go ahead and add an OTT gain comp. Basically it's an OTT at 10 output, and then we'll go ahead and pull up some mids and some lows. Set the time to not 195%. Now we're getting that grit. That's that over-processed. The source. reason why it's at 10 on the output, when you put OTT on a track, it pulls it down minus yeah, 10 about, dB, right? Yeah, essentially. So yeah, that's giving that extra little grit, that tonality that we want. And it sounds a little bit better because it's coming from audio as opposed to from the MIDI. It's not over-processed. So I do recommend freezing and flattening it, right? Okay, and then lastly, we have another EQ. We just have a low cut and a little bit of low mid scoop right here and a little bit of high sort of cut off just a little bit to try to match the sound. And it should sound like this. So pretty sick, as you can see, a really heavy bass. All the racks and of course the wavetable and the preset itself will be available in the description down below. Again, all these other sounds are so sick. We remake everything, we remake all these drums, like this shit, this. Fucking hip hop drums, yeah. dude. And then of course, like even this fucking, this. It's all nasty. Sounds so good. Yeah, and the yeah. only place you can get that is on Patreon. On Patreon, so mm -hmm. make sure you guys go and do that. So now that we got the sound sorted out, mm -hmm. we wanna talk about some of the samples that are used in the original song. So yeah, we heard the song. It was, we knew exactly where it came from. And for me personally, where I knew the bass came from was bass, how yeah. low can you go? And that was from Tony Hawk, Pro Skater 2. <laughs> And it's Public Enemy and Anthrax. Right. And I knew it right away because I would hear that song in the video game all the time. Right. You know, when we do remakes, we try to get inside this person's head.
head. And so we we downloaded the song, we got the acapella, and then we got it, and then we pitched it to match it, and it's it's perfect. It's the exact sample. And I get a lot of joy out of finding yeah. those exact mm-hmm. samples that people used and yeah. then actually repurpose it. So that was a really cool one. And then the second one was kind of like this camera shutter right here. <laughs> It was a mystery at first. That's the one that I recognize that you didn't. There's a really cool, great tool for you guys to find original samples from songs that you listen to. It's called Mm whosampled.com. So you just type in the song, and it gives you every sample, and then the original songs and the timestamp that they got the sample from. For most songs, not all songs. Most songs. Really cool tool. Go check that out. Uh, When I heard this, I was like, oh, that's House of Pain. Jump around. And... And then we went and got that sample and we were messing with it. And it was really similar, but we're like, hey, this something's weird with like the pitch. I'm like, no, this isn't right. Yeah, I figured it out. It was actually insane in the brain from right. Cypress Hill, yeah. which is hilarious because yeah. our boy Eric was on tour with them just recently. So thinking about that, yeah. you know, and that was the exact one because you were jump around was very close. It's the yeah, same. It's like the same pitch. Yeah. The funny thing is yeah. we went to the website, whosample.com. We put in insane in the brain and we found the original original sample that it is and it's actually a horse <laughs> neighing yeah. from an old like cowboy western yeah, it's, or it's a song. soundtrack it's an old like cowboy western soundtrack thing it's super cool because they didn't have ableton they didn't no. have anything crazy they were doing this all with like hardware and like manipulating yeah. the tape into it they're playing the record and recording what they play yeah so i thought that was insane in, in the, the brain <laughs> Cool. So hopefully you guys learned something. Again, all the links are in the description. Make sure you guys go and get Mid Temps Volume 2. It's out now. 175 presets. Tons of samples. Of course, our project file for Annihilation. If you guys want to get this, the download is in the description for that. And then, of course, our show on May 7th. Link is also in the description for that. If you guys want to go ahead and join us, come say hi. Come say what's up. Tickets are on sale. I think it's only like 15 bucks. It's not that expensive. We're going to be super excited to see you guys. And then other than that, if you can, please like and share the video. Right? That'd be sick. You know what else is sick? People are going to be dancing with us at the show, bro. Oh, oh. For the first time ever. Oh, oh. You know what I'm saying, dude? Yeah. Everybody's dancing in their houses mm. while we're dancing here, mm. and now we get to dance live, bro. Yeah, that bring that's a, a that if, is insanity. If you're a fan of our dancing in our videos, right? Because obviously we've said this from the very start: mm-hmm. dancers first, producers second, yep. right? If you're a fan of that, you better believe you're gonna see some gyration live on stage, awesome right? Hip, hip fucking movements, you know. We basically fornicate with the CDJs. Oh, dude, those CDJs don't know what's coming to you them. You know how like our parents, like they went our. Or I don't know, like our parents or grandparents went and saw like Elvis and like the people freaked out because he was like mo- doing all these moves. And yeah. like, you can't do that. Like literally, that's what we are. OK, a lot of gyration. A we lot of can't. S- we can't tell our CDJs what happens at the venue. Yeah, I don't want those are those are some different CDJs. I also don't want to bring back any other CDJ into our home mm-hmm. that we've. You know, might get a little weird. I don't want no side piece CDJ. No, but I'm going to make love to it as I would our oh, own CDJs. We're gonna make sure you come. We we've been practicing, working on our set list. We're super excited to show you guys. So let's go ahead and jump out of here. Subscribe if you can. Like the video. We'll see you in the next one. Let's Thank you guys for out. watching. Thank you so much.